See, the thing about that theme song is it always makes me think that we're angry to get the topics from us, and we are totally not. So don't think that all these great topics that you've given us so far make us upset, uh, because welcome back to the Land Cave, and this time we're doing You Made Me Do This. Uh, you give us the topics. The sky is the limit. We make a post uh, Friday or Saturday of the weekend, hopefully Saturday, uh, Feel free to comment on it. Let us know what you want to talk about. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know we already talk about. We talk about video games, talk about movies, talk about TV. Uh, but hey, maybe there's something on your mind that you're like, hey, Patrick and Owen are cool looking dudes. They're pretty men. They uh, they have a lot to say about a lot of things. You know, I was at in and out and I, I do not like Owen's opinion uh, <laughs> on, on those burgers. I want you guys to talk about fast food. I don't care. Tell us what you want us to talk about and we will do it. Uh, but we are going to go back to gaming this week. Uh, we went Avengers last week. That was a great discussion. Check that out on YouTube.com slash The Land Cave. Uh, so imagine that you stopped playing video games some time ago. And you see your cool friend Owen. He's talking about playing Days Gone on the PS4. And you're like, man, should I get back into video games? And I'm here to tell you. That absolutely you should. Obviously, you have to watch. Oh, yeah. But yes, is... you should absolutely get back into video games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I 100% agree, obviously. I mean, not just because we do a vi weekly video game show or anything, but this is such a great time to be a gamer in regards to uh, whatever type of game you like, there's more than likely that game out there that you haven't seen yet, especially if you haven't played in a couple console generations. If you stopped playing, like one of my coworkers stopped playing uh, on the original PlayStation, mm. and uh, and he played a little bit of PlayStation 2, he didn't own one, and then he's out. He's a little bit older than me. Uh, but yeah, you know, he was talking about like, oh, I don't know if I should get back. And then seeing some of the recent games, uh, it was the um, Days Gone and The Last of Us Part Two. He didn't know what The Last of Us was, and I was explaining to him what it is, and it like completely gelled with him in regards to the the story wise. Like like I said, if there's something that you that you liked back then, there's a better version of it now. If not, you can probably find that emulated. Uh, in addition, you don't have to jump in this console generation. There is another console generation coming out, but uh, the Xbox 360 is dirt cheap to get an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 uh, and grab some of those used games because there's some great stuff that was out there too. Um, I think it's totally a great time to do it. Jump yeah. in. So I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to start this off, I wanted to ask, did you ever take a break from gaming? Did you miss a generation at all or, or take a lengthy time away from games? So I did not. Um, I wouldn't say it's a lengthy time. I don't remember a time where I did not have a console. Sure. Um, I do have a, a generation that I missed out on in a way. I've talked about that on the show before. I did not have a SNES. I did not have a Super Nintendo. So I would play Nobody's stuff perfect. At, so yeah, I know. So so I'd play stuff at my friend's house, but like I had a Genesis. Uh, after that console generation, I usually had... Uh, well, I, I also missed the original Xbox, uh, but that's not as big of a deal, honestly. Um, because of that, though, I feel like I, I, I missed a lot of amazing stuff, so now I'm getting to go back and play it, play it um, which is fine. Like I said... Didn't you miss so Link to the Past? I missed Link to the Past. I didn't play yeah. Link to the Past until, I want to say, five years ago. Yeah. And I played it right before Link Between Worlds uh, came out. It's good call. Holy crap! These uh, just amazing. Sorry, I, I don't think that'll count as cursing. Like, we try not to be uh, crap. <laughs> yeah, okay. Too bad. Crap's not fun. too bad. Um, but there was so much great stuff on that console that I missed out on. I I didn't really take a a break. I had some time where I didn't play as much. Uh, like when I first moved out of my parents' house, mm -hmm. I had a Wii U, and mm -hmm. so I I still played a bunch of games, uh, but I didn't have. Um, I didn't have a PlayStation or a, an Xbox at the time. Uh, but yeah, I had a Wii U, so I was still playing games, not as much, but I'd say then and now are probably the two times where I played the least amount of games, and I'm still playing games. Did yeah. Did you have a time where you gapped? 
I was well, I was gonna say the same thing. So I have never missed a generation in terms of ownership. Um, but during the 360 PS3 area, mm -hmm. uh, that was when I started college, and so during that time, the amount of games that I was playing dropped significantly. So uh, I mean, I didn't ever get a PS3. That the problem with that was that the price. Uh, of the PS3 was way too much for an 18 year old yeah. kid like me. So I did eventually wind up with a 360 and uh, So I played Halo 2, played Halo 3, I played Gears mm -hmm. and uh, I played some sports games. I played a lot of FIFA yeah. um, During that but that's about it. I so I'm not gonna say I missed the 360 PS3 generation But like half the PS3 games like I didn't play Uncharted Yeah uh, any of them until PS4. I didn't play The Last of Us, which okay. a lot of people didn't. I didn't play The Last of Us until yeah. PS4. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, it, if it's on PS3 I, and not been remastered, I have not played it. Okay. Okay. Uh, like I, I had a similar situation uh, where the, the Xbox 360 got me back into playing games often and playing a lot of different games. Um, where, like I said, I had the Wii. Uh, Xbox 360, uh, I, a friend gave me uh, one because uh, he'd, he'd upgraded. So I got one of the fat, uh, the old school white ones, which never bricked on me. Um, but I got back into it. And similar to you where I'm like, I really want a PS3. I ended up getting one because I ended up getting a really good job and uh, and rewarded myself with it. Plus, I wanted a Blu-ray player. And that's, you know, win-win. Yeah. Um, but like why people gonna, got PS2s. Oh a yeah, player. there's a DVD player. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit. I, we have notes here, but we were talking about like price. The, the PlayStation 3 came out and it was 5.99. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it got discounted and discounted and discounted. But uh, it was. I mean, I think the the cheapest that I ever saw it hit was 3.50 or so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just my memory. But I mean, that thing came down from $600 to I think I ended up getting one for like $400. But right now, uh, PS4 Slim at Walmart is 269, and PS PS4 Slim is great. Okay, it's not 4K. Okay, but it plays all the same games. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, Xbox One S uh, similarly. Uh, okay, it's not 4K, but that's fine. Uh, 207 for an Xbox One S, a Nintendo Switch 299 because they're just not changing it. I, I get that, but. Black Friday, these will all come down further. My guess is, uh, we, I think we talked about this before, but uh, an Xbox One S for um, like probably 175 or maybe 200. I mean, that's not unheard of uh, for mm -hmm. that, especially with the new uh, Xbox Digital uh, coming out. Another reason why, if you if you want to jump back into gaming. And you haven't played in a long time. You can get an X. I'm 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 going to advocate for the for the uh, for the sad edition for a minute, because you could get the sad edition, the all digital. You could get Game Pass, and you could play all of these games and kind of sample platter all of the stuff that you missed out on, for uh, all in all, like the, the the digital edition, games with gold, and uh, and a and that pass and you're going to be spending what like 500 bucks for the year and that's it and you can play games all year um actually i'm probably i'm a little high on that number but that's fine i think it's it's an amazing time and then we were talking about uh we're talking about 4k games come uh that, that are out and i thought i put the sources on those but apparently i didn't um talking about 4k gaming if you have a 4k tv and you don't have a gaming gaming system the xbox one x is amazing. If, Xbox if One can, S has HDR too. That the S has HDR. The X yeah. has HDR and uh, 4K. Uh, yeah. The X is amazing. Um, and that being said, if you don't want a console, should you build a PC? What do you think? So here's the thing. So uh, the reason why I included this on here is because uh, I wanted to get to the I wanted to get to the point of why gaming uh, is cheaper than it ever has been with these console prices. And the reason why I'm going to say no mm -hmm. that you sh shouldn't build a PC is if you have not played video games in a long time and you are doing this specifically to play video games, yeah. unless you have a lot of disposable income, which if you do, yes, build a PC. Hey, there are people out there, we're adults now. Yeah. Uh, if I wanted to build one, I could do it. I just, sure. 
don't want to because I sit in front of a computer all day. That's the other thing for me is I work here. This, you see this? This is my workspace. I live here. I do my Same. show here. I, <laughs> I don't want to play games in here as well. I want to play games on my recliner in front of my TV, which you can do with a PC. It's just I don't want to fiddle with it. No, but no, if no. if you're get, if your life is not re revolved around computers, you have a lot of disposable income. Absolutely, sure. You want to build a PC because Steam also has a, a myriad of cheap games. But if you are just wanting, if you want to, you want to dip your dip your toe in, you're like, is the water is the water warm? Is it cool? I'm not quite sure yet, dude. Black Friday, you're going to be able to get a PS4 and an Xbox One. Either one, I'm almost positive you'll be able to get it for under 200 If you can't get it for under 200 you'll be able to get it for 200 During Black Friday this last year, you could get a PlayStation 4 Slim 500 gigabyte with Spider-Man, which had just yeah. come out two months prior for $199.99. Yeah, probably. I think that was the best, deal. hands down, the best deal uh, uh, for the for the Black Friday season. There's always great stuff on Black Friday, but this is why it's a great time to, to be a gamer. I I would say um, the other thing about when you're talking about building a PC, should you build a PC? If if you were not already needing a PC for um, audio or video rendering, uh, if that's not your thing. Because if you work on a PC, it's different than building a gaming PC because there's there's a lot of a lot more uh, you know your GPU is going to cost quite a bit, especially with people trying to mine Bitcoin. Like your a good graphics card, graphics costs card. A good amount. Yeah, your graphics card is going to cost quite a bit. And one thing that I love about console gaming, and I, I I was a hardcore PC gamer to an extent, and I stopped doing that partially because of the uh, cat the being able to just relax on the couch but the other is the ease of accessibility when because uh, a lot of what I do when it comes to uh, to gaming or when it comes to things in life I do things for and with my wife so if I in regards to our like entertainment uh, entertainment center and the way it's set up I want it to be easy for her to play a game if she wants to play a game if 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 we were had PCs and we were playing PC games, it frustrates her more, or it's it's more intensive to have to wait, update, uh, update Steam, and having to go in and do that kind of maintenance. Um, some people don't mind doing that, uh, especially if you're doing uh, upgrades to your graphics card and everything. But the e the sh long story short, being playing on a console and just being able to to jump on and and, and uh, purchase something to uh, automatically download we were talking last week about this uh, automatically uh, downloading games uh, if you're playing a, if you're playing a, uh, sorry if you're seeing something that's online that's on sale you can hit a button and boom uh, that is now downloading onto your uh, PlayStation and that yeah. ease of access if you're at the grocery store or you're at work or whatever and you're like oh man that game is on sale buy automatically downloads on your on your game on your gaming system when you get home it's there it's ready for you you're talking about days gone is already preloaded on your on your system it doesn't come out till Friday right correct yeah how how cool is that we live in the future. <laughs> we live in the future, y'all. Seriously. That's, that's Seriously. The thing about cheap gaming stuff, the reason, the other thing about a gaming PC, yeah. uh, people like to say you could get a decent gaming PC for five or six hundred dollars. That's probably true. That you know, that uh, in my experience, you're going to be actually be spending more than that, um, because. I don't want to settle. And so the thing about this is unless you're a technical person, if you're a person who's just like, I just got out of gaming a long time ago, occasionally I turn on that computer over there, check my email, but I do most of my stuff on my phone, man. Like that's, that's, that's where I do stuff. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't do it yet. Make sure that you want to commit to that. And I say, pick yourself up a console because yeah. it's, it's just, you, you turn it on, you yeah. turn it on um the xbox one does not have a user interface that i like but if you are a media person if you want to use it as kind of an all-in-one hub if you want all your tv to go through it uh all your netflix and everything else you can do that on playstation but the xbox one is a really good media hub. um but in terms of ui 
the user interface, PlayStation is very straightforward. It's all in a straight line. All your games are there. Your store is there. It's just, you pick your thing. Um, I'm always going to be a PlayStation advocate. That's just what I am. But you could also want something on the go. Maybe, uh, maybe you spend a lot of time on public transportation. Maybe you uh, have downtime or you just, you want to pick it up. Even though the most expensive one of these three things is the least powerful console, the Nintendo Switch at $299 is still an excellent piece of hardware. Um, I had no idea that I was going to love the Switch so much. I didn't know that I wanted a handheld thing, a handheld thing like the Switch. The 3DS was a cool little console and everything, but the two screens kind of annoying sometimes. The the games never really looked great. But then you play the Legend of Zelda Breath of oh, the yeah. Wild in handheld mode, <laughs> and it's beautiful and then now it's just inundated with all these small indie titles that are so cheap we were talking about the golf peaks game that was 4.99 i haven't spent over 20 dollars on a game on the switch in months and yeah. have just been getting hours and hours of enjoyment so pick one of those consoles uh and that's what i wanted to go into uh i want to say that don't worry about the fact that we're talking PS5 now. Don't worry about the fact that Xbox is probably going to announce something at E3 because both of those companies have already committed to backwards compatibility. So whatever you, games you buy now, you're going to have access to in the future. And if you're just getting back into it, you don't really need uh, to worry about that right now because there are thousands of games available today. <laughs> Yep. To 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 get in there. So the question is, where do you start? So, and and I think it's a loaded question. Uh, I yep. have I have my feeling about it. Um, if you are a, if you really want to to have the best graphics, and if you want a 4K Blu-ray player, the Xbox One X is amazing. It's a great console. At the same time. PlayStation, like you said, the access is great, but I would say that the Nintendo Switch is probably one of the best ones to to choose. If you already have your entertainment center kind of set up, the Nintendo Switch has so many great uh, games on there, especially it has some games that uh, that are very similar to stuff that you probably played uh, back in the day. Um, but in addition to that, I, I was talking about on, on the, uh, the news segment of our show, uh, playing a game that was very similar to like old school PC Bard's Tale and and Might of Magic and playing these kind of dungeon crawler games. There's a lot of games that I feel on any of the consoles. There are games that you're going to find that that harken back to uh, an old school game that you uh, would love, and yeah. there is that transition. So it, I think it depends. If you really liked Nintendo back in the day, the Switch is great. Um, mm. I would say the PlayStation may be the, my favorite console. Um, and if you, if you had a, if you stopped at PlayStation one, jump in on PlayStation four, because oh, yeah. holy crap, there's so much, there's so many great things on there. I think the interface is really good. The only drawback in my opinion is, um, not being able to use my universal remote on the PlayStation. Uh, that's my only drawback. But yeah. I, I think, Xbox. I think, um, the reasons why you might want to get into to Xbox and the reasons why you might want to get into PlayStation, uh, especially Xbox right now, for as much as I dog uh, their system at the moment, they're also uh, the most innovative right now in terms of their uh, gaming because they came out with Game Pass. And for those of you who don't know what Game Pass is, you can pay a monthly fee. I think you might even be able to pay a yearly fee. Yep. Uh, a very low price. Uh, I think it's either nine ninety nine or eventually they're going to be introducing a combined one if it's not already out yet of, of fifteen dollars. Uh, every every Microsoft game uh, and then some you can get yep. from Game Pass, so you don't even have to buy the games. It's kind of like a Netflix situation where you just pay for it. But it's right Play when it comes out. Right when the game comes out. Yeah, and PlayStation has something similar uh, in PlayStation now. It doesn't work exactly the same way because it doesn't work with new games, but they do have a monthly service where uh, you can um, play older games. Yeah. Uh, and again, I don't know. I think they have some PS4 games on there, but I'm not 
completely sure because I don't use it, but they also have PlayStation Plus, which we mentioned uh, on the other segment where they just have sales all the yeah. time. You can get yeah. games for so cheap and they just add a discount to that. And with PlayStation 5 coming out, I imagine that when PS5 comes out, they're going to go back to their old ways and you're going to be getting PS4 and P- you know, yes. PS5 games because it's going to be backwards compatible. Yeah. So, And they have such a large library. So those are the reasons why I would say those. But you make a good point in terms yeah. of the Switch. Um, and then the thing about games and like where to start, why would you want to get something, is I fall out of games all the time. I don't. I have every game system. It's not like I ever quit. I'm never going to quit. It's 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 a part of me. Yeah. But there will be times I take days off. I take weeks off. Yeah. I've even I've even taken a month or two off after Red Dead right around Christmas. <laughs> I didn't play anything. Yeah. Uh, because I just wasn't interested. I played such a great game in Red Dead. I sp- I spent 80 hours on it, and I'm I'm an adult. I just don't have time to yeah. I can't take 80 hours away from my wife every every month right uh, so did did you see an ad like what made you want to jump in did you see something cool did you see like God of War uh, uh, on uh, on commercial or did you see hey did you see a kid playing Fortnite and, and that uh, interested you which is a, it's a free-to-play game on everything yeah. um, use what stuck out to you don't just play something like i I can recommend things for you all day long patrick can recommend things for you all day long but if you saw something that stuck out to you that tells me that you want to play that game play that game go do it yeah don't let anybody tell you like oh the game's not fun like go play it because if if it stuck out to you if it stuck out to you if it resonated with with you then go go do it and i think game pass said uh actually uh, kevin and alex are talking in the comments so uh alex wooten who's been a fan of uh a fan of the show the original show as well as the the uh, rebrand um he has an xbox one s i believe uh and game pass and that combination of that being able to play any of the, any of those games uh, allowed him to jump in and uh and i think it was a perfect fit for him PlayStation doesn't have that gelling yet, but uh, Xbox does have similarly. Um, they have uh, deals with Gold, which is their discount. Like PlayStation Plus has their discount, so Xbox has something similar. Um, but I agree. I think uh, Xbox has already announced everything's going to be backwards compatible. PlayStation's going to. They haven't. I haven't seen them officially announce it, but they've basically said it. Um, I don't think anyone at this point can not uh, can go forward without being backwards compatible. Nintendo will will try to do it though, because of the cartridges and everything. Nintendo will will be the one who says, "Oh no, you have to rebuy our games again." I don't think PlayStation and the Xbox will. Well, and, honest, Xbox won't. Yeah. and honestly, I think, uh, and this is just more from our predictions and everything. The there's still there's still something brewing between Microsoft and Nintendo. So don't be surprised if uh, we don't get some type of Game Pass situation on the Nintendo Switch with with maybe Microsoft Indies that they have. Like, they, they've already brought Cuphead to the Switch uh, just this last week. It runs so good, too. We're expecting Ori and the Blind Forest at some point, which, again, if you have not heard of these games, that's absolutely okay. Just know that they are well-known games that are microsoft only and now they are on a nintendo console or will be coming to a nintendo console that and and nintendo has been doing something nintendo has their online service where they play you can play old school on the switch i I was playing punch out just the other day so if if you want a little bit of taste of that nostalgia nintendo has been doing that for you with their online service they haven't made it anything modern yet but they still offer that portability. They're, and for twenty dollars a month, man. So a year. Oh, sorry, a year. I only said month. Yeah, twenty dollars yeah. a year. I played. I was playing Punch Out. I did that as well. I played played some Punch Out last week because I was I was thinking, man, this is gonna be really cool. Um, also, the Nintendo Switch one allows you to do a save state, so you're playing the game. You can save wherever you are. You can just save there. So being able to play that and playing Punch Out, I don't have to remember the codes. I don't have to write them down. Uh, I got all the way up. I'm at I'm at Mr. Dream, and uh, I have not beaten him. But I don't think I've ever beaten him. I can't remember if I have. But either way, like being able to do that and say, you know what, my time is valuable. I I can save save this and go do something else and come back and play it. It is amazing. Um, I I think I think we've we've hit a lot of, of great points on this. But I would say, similar to what you said, 
we can't really decide uh, for you. Uh, by all means, if you want to tweet at us or, or message us on Facebook, we'll definitely talk talk to you about like it, what what you liked about gaming, and we can kind of maybe steer you in the right direction. But yeah. it's like a blanket statement. I couldn't say someone like if someone says what sh- what should I get? Should I get an Xbox or a PlayStation? If I don't know you, I cannot make that decision. Like PlayStation. <laughs> I can make that decision for you. You can make okay. that decision. Yeah. Unless I, I will talk to you. It's the, I do this type of thing for a living. I talk to people about what they want. I, I talk to people yeah. about what they want to get out of things. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm in customer service. So I will give you an honest assessment after I ask you what it is that you're interested in sure. playing. Because there is a point where it's like, hey, are you are you trying to play sports games? I, do you want to play sports games online with other people? I'm probably going to tell you to play on Xbox for the future. Uh, but for, you know, if you're saying like, Hey, do I want to play? Like, you know, i just want to play by myself. I want some cool story things. Then yeah. I'm going to tell you to play on the PlayStation. <laughs> There's a lot of other things that will go into it. I will give you an honest assessment, no, but the, the thing is, is if you want to get back into games, games are better than they ever have been before. That's not to say anything about the old generation. There are some classics. They're still great. Super Mario is still awesome. Not dissing Zelda. Don't worry. But a lot of those games sucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> they sucked. And there's a lot of sucky games out now, too, but they're just so much better. They yeah. look better. They run better. They are more fun. You can save. Yes. Save. There's a save <laughs> state. Uh, games are better than they ever have been before, and they're only going to get better, and they are cheaper than they ever have been before. So if you're thinking about getting back in, I absolutely suggest it. Please yeah. feel free uh, to leave us comments saying, hey, you know, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Do you have any games in mind? We will be more than happy uh, to recommend any game of any genre. I got you covered, or Patrick's got you covered, or some of our loyal people have got you covered. Uh, please feel free to talk to us about it uh, and get back in. Join us yeah, in the greatest worry. generation. Yes, do not worry about um about the game is being too difficult or it's like oh i'm older now like do not worry about that because there are there are games that will fit if you want to play it there are games that will fit with that unless you're trying to play dark souls then okay yeah there's a scale there's a scale to everything i will again we can talk to you uh about any of that stuff but uh thank you so much uh for joining us for another you made me do this again these are all topics based on what you guys want uh, us to talk about. So look out for those posts on Twitter and Facebook on Saturdays, uh, or you can just leave it anytime. I don't really care. If you just want to leave it on this this video and say, hey, talk about this, I will take a note of it. Uh, also, if you have not followed us, we are at The Land Cave on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. Yep. So Facebook check us will out. eventually say the correct thing. They're still holding uh, holding back on us, but this week in our collective land cave, <laughs> it will it'll be corrected soon. But thank you again, and we'll see you next week again. Like us, subscribe, all those things. And uh, if you're a podcast listener, we love our podcast listeners. So tweet at us at the land cave and just say something stupid about you know about poop. I don't know. Bye. Bye. <laughs>